The one thing the rich embrace which the poor hate. The one thing poor people do that make them poorer. Over the years, I have been vaccinated by the stories and biographies of the rich and successful people. I have studied and read the life stories of people like John D. Rockefeller, Henry Ford, Steve Jobs, Paul Getty and a lot of rich and successful individuals all over the world and at the time, something became so clear to me. I started seeing that there is one thing the rich love or embrace which most poor people actually hate to hear about and that's what this video is all about. If you are new here, consider subscribing so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Now here's the thing. All those people we call successful today are actually bearing a wrong appellation because they are not supposed to be called successful. Successful people are not successful because they go for success. They are successful because they embrace failures and that's a single word that most poor people hate to hear. If you want to confirm this yourself, approach 10 successful people and ask them to tell you the story of their life from their youth. One thing you notice in all of them is that they are adventurous. They go out and pursue life. They tried things, made mistakes and failed. You notice at a time in their life, they overcame the fear of failure and found pleasure in making mistakes. Now go and interview 10 poor adults. Let them tell you the story of their life and pay attention. Here's one thing you notice. The poor live all their lives trying to avoid anything that will make their life uncomfortable. Most poor people hate failures. They would rather live in peace than to risk doing things that can crush their lives. Let's use Abraham Lincoln as an example here. He lost the job in 1832 and was defeated for state legislature that same year. He failed in business in 1833, lost his lover in 1835. Lincoln had a nervous breakdown in 1836 and was defeated for speaker in 1838. He was defeated for nomination for Congress in 1843 and lost nomination in 1848. Lincoln was rejected for land officer in 1849 and was defeated for US Senate in 1854. Lincoln was defeated for nomination for vice president in 1856 and again defeated for US Senate in 1858. But by 1860, Abraham Lincoln became the 16th President of the United States. What do you see here? Failure, failure and failure after failures, then a big success. Check out the life of any successful person and you will notice the same pattern. Failure, failure and failure, then success. The problem with most people is that they are too protective of themselves. They don't want to make mistakes. They don't want to fail. They don't want to get lost. Because of this mindset, they are doing things that are only comfortable or things that have security. That's why getting a job is very popular. That's why many other average lifestyles are popular. Though ease can make your life stress-free, it's not the path to riches and success. Think about it this way. When you were a baby, you made hundreds of mistakes in your first year and hundreds of other mistakes between your age 1 and 5. These were the periods you needed to learn how to sit, crawl, walk, talk and write. For each of these, there are hundreds of mistakes to be made and without those mistakes, you simply couldn't master any of these fundamental skills. Without mistakes and falling, you cannot learn how to sit. Without falling, you cannot learn how to walk. Without several mistakes, you cannot learn how to speak or write. In fact, if you pay attention to how life is programmed, you won't look far before you see that mistakes and failures are important processes to master life and succeed. Who can ride a bicycle without falling? Who can drive a car without mistakes? Who can become successful without several failures? The rich understand this truth and that's why they embrace failures. Most people don't know this truth and that's why they remain poor. Listen, if you truly want to become rich, you have to dare the unknown. You have to go to places no one has been to. You have to try things most people are afraid of. When you do this, you can be sure that you will make mistakes and experience some very terrible failures. You must learn how to smile 
recover from your falling and start all over again until you can endure failures tens and hundreds of times without giving up you cannot achieve anything worthwhile in life including financial prosperity thomas edison was a great entrepreneur and inventor as an inventor edison reportedly made 1000 unsuccessful attempts at inventing the light bulb when a reporter asked how did it feel to fail 1000 times edison replied i didn't fail 1000 times the light bulb was an invention with 1,000 steps. To be rich and successful, you have to embrace failures. You have to see failures as necessary steps to success. You have to try new things and dare new territories. If you keep your life, you lose it. If you try to take life easy, it will end up becoming very tough for you. Get out and be courageous. Try things, dare things, dare life, fight hard. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We'd like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. But before then, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. Now, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Look at your screen now to see two other videos we handpicked for you to enjoy next. We love you.